Hello, I'm Dawn. Welcome to Cyprus and to my channel. So another update of what's growing in my indoor garden. Nothing's changed on here. These were the tomatoes. So if you want to know what these are, check out the last episode. The cat's all just coming in. I've opened the door. These are tomatoes I've now transplanted extra. These are plum tomatoes. So I've only just transplanted those so they always look a bit sleepy at first. The bottom row, I have seeded so many different types of zucchinis and squash. These front ones for example are the trompetta which are the ones that travel miles down the garden. So I've only just done those so there's nothing to show you of those but I've got loads there. And on this shelf, all these big bottle covers are those different types. I've got them all labelled with my lollipop sticks. This is Bianca, for example. These ones. What's this one? This one's, um, oh, the one they call Marrow. It's not a Marrow. It's the brand of Marrow. Also down here, we have, oh, I've put all the peppers together. I haven't transplanted any peppers because I leave those longer than normal. So now all the peppers are all together here. There were some all together, but that other one's added to them. So you can see they're all doing very well. Don't be in a rush to transplant peppers. Never rush peppers, they're slower to start and take more time. And then here we've got some transplants. These are all watermelons, you saw the watermelons. They look small now because they're transplanted into much bigger pots. They were in one of these if you recall. So now my watermelons are transplanted. You do need to keep those moist. There's one type in Cyprus where you don't need to keep them moist, but most of my seeds are Italian. So yes, do look out for the Cypriot version. I can't tell you uh, what they call it, but there's one type of watermelon that doesn't need water much. So, but this is not those. Then I re-sowed beans in this one because there nothing came up in that one, so I re-sowed those. One lot of bean had grown really big. And you'll see that in a water bottle. In a minute I'll put a clip in of the water bottles. I put one lot of beans that come up really tall and a whole one of these full of broccoli. They have gone outside in a water bottle. Then I've reseeded some more beans in this one. And this was another one that was coming up. And now that's much bigger. So they're all different types of green bean. Then along the back here, I've transplanted from the outside herb rack. 
some of the lettuce because they were going crazy so I've like pinched them all out and all along the back here are little lettuce thinned out this is rosa lettuce which is the ready purpley lettuce And this is some more lettuce there, different type of lettuce there. Here in this one is basil. Now this was already growing in here. I haven't transplanted it. That one is thinning out very soon. I'll just put a taller cover on that. Because that's doing well. This one is more peppers seeded. These are what were already growing. Oh, and this was the green spinach. I feel that needs to get bigger. Don't know anything about green spinach, but I'm going to say that needs to be bigger before I do anything with it. So I've just put a taller cover on there. And the last one is another form of tomatoes. These were slowest to grow. They're all seeded at the same time as the ones transplanted a while ago. So they're just going to stay there. They're like the oval shape ones. And then I'll show you outside. It's a bit windy, so I may not be able to speak. Let's show you through the window first and explain it. Out there are the tall bottles, are the cucumbers. These sort of back, the ones further at the back are tall cucumbers those ones and then these ones are more tomato transplants so i'll go and show you those and i'll show you the herb rack as well Oh, I've also added more tomatoes under my, this is my greenhouse, <laughs> this is my greenhouse, there's more tomatoes there. Planting from indoors, the broccoli was ready to be planted out, and so were some beans. So I just filled up some bottles, I transplanted the broccoli into one, and the beans straight into another. And you will catch up with all the bottles in another episode. As you can probably see, the greenery through them all gives you some idea of how crazy they are all growing. This is definitely the best way. This is outside in winter, so this is a great way to grow whatever your climate. As long as you've got light, as in daylight, not sun, not heat, just daylight, then they will grow for you. These were not started indoors. This level is just naturally grown, seeded. So the seeds were put in there and they have just grown naturally. And I do keep you updated on those so you can see what grows, totally ignoring what grows when. <laughs> 